Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Anthony Daniels and welcome back to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming out of the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 38 and 39. It's Romans 8, 38 and 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Once again, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I'm going to sum that up real quick. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. <clears throat> what we have to understand and what we can't comprehend is that God has a perfect love. A perfect love. He doesn't love us because of things that we do. He just loves us. He, he just loves us because of who he is. We love each other for different reasons. But we, we as humans, we don't really know what unconditional love is. There's always conditions on our love. That's why there's so much divorce in the United States today, because people come together and, you know, they find out that, you know, that person is exactly who they thought they was, or they got some little quirks that they didn't know about, and they fall out of love. Because our love is tied to uh, <clears throat> expectations. And if those expectations aren't met, I mean, we can put up with some foolishness, but we're not going to put up with all of it. So people fall out of love. People get divorced. But that's the work of Satan, because he, do he doesn't want us to be, he doesn't want us to be happy. You know, he, he, he makes things seem worse than they really are. But if we rely on the love of God in our marriages, in our relationships, with our children, if we rely on that love of God, see, the love of God will never let us down. The love of God sustains us. It sustains us. It keeps us going. You know, when, when you're feeling bad, when life is not treating you right, when things aren't going well, you can fall back on the fact that God loves you. If nobody, if you feel like nobody else loves you, you, you can rest assured that God loves you. And that, that is the greatest thing about being saved, being a child of God. It's knowing how much God loves you. And if you focus on God's love and, and, and you let God's love drive you, then being a Christian and doing the right things and making the choices to follow God's commandments are so much easier because you realize how much he loves you. I mean, it's like a small child. A small child is, is the closest we can get to unconditional love. You know, when you take a child that's like under three and, and you punish him, as soon as you finish punishing, that child comes right back to you to be consoled. You know, because he, he's hurt but he wants you to hold him because he loves you. And he knows him, and he knows you love him, even though you just punished him. And that's why people can get away with child abuse and people can't pick up on it because that child goes right back to that abuser. You know, and but but once they get older, they start to realize, okay, he just beat me. I'm going to my other, I'm going to the other parent. See, there's already putting conditions on that love. God has an unconditional love for us. As bad as we are. Because we're all sinners. We are all once sinners. Now, and I say once because I am no longer a sinner. I still sin, but I'm a child of God. I've accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. He's wiped my sins away. He's going to do the same for you. He will wipe your sins away, and you will no longer be a sinner. You, you can still sin. I'm not saying you won't sin, but you are no longer a sinner. You don't live for sin. You live for God. And his love sustains you and keeps you. 
and, and you can and you know that whatever you're going through, that God's love for you is going to bring you through it. You just have to focus on that love. Nothing. I mean, he says nothing. Death, nor life. Angels, demons. The, the, the saint, saint cannot stop God from loving you. The present or the future, nothing. Nor any powers. God is the ultimate power. He's the ultimate love. That love is unshakable. That's all the time we have. Like I say, God loves us. We gotta, we gotta just rest in His love. We gotta, we got we gotta, we gotta hold on to His love, because even when we turn our backs to God, when we turn our back to God, He still loves us. He doesn't change His love. His love doesn't change. He still, He's always waiting for us to come back to Him. Come back to Him today. Thank you. Have a good day. Remember, God loves you.